warm welcome to Asia Today. My name is Mike Embley. In the program for you, the Sri Lankan Defence Minister dismisses international calls for an investigation into the fire ages of the country's bloody civil war. Whether it is United Nations or whether it is any other country, we are not, I am not allowing any investigation in this country. There is no reason, there is nothing wrong happening in this country. And hello to you. Sri Lanka's Defence Secretary is ruling out an investigation into the final stages of the civil war against the Tamil Tiger rebels, which ended last May. The United Nations has called for an independent inquiry into possible war crimes by both sides. But Deparajan in the capital, Colombo. Any international they ask, can ask for any investigation. There will be no investigations in this country. I will oppose anybody who is trying to do because there is no reason. The only uh, thing that we have to do is to bring this country, develop this country, bring peace to the country, reconciliation. By bringing out all these things will not... These are the people who wanted have other motives who are asking, whether it is United Nations or whether it is any other country, we are not, I am not allowing any investigation in this country, there is no reason, there is nothing wrong happening in this country, if, if, uh, take it from me, there will be no investigation for anything in this country, I will not allow, that is not public wants, that is what does not this country wants. Don't ask anything about any investigation, don't talk to me any investigation. There will be no investigations in this country. Take it from me, I'm the Secretary of Defense, and I will oppose anybody who wants to have this thing. I will not ask anything. This is my final word. Do you think the Tamil Tigers have finished? Yes. Is there any chance of them regrouping again? We, any organization can regroup, but I will ensure that they will not regroup. Sri Lanka's defense secretary, Godubayo Japaksha, talking exclusively there to the BBC's Anbarasan Etarajan.